All right, this is the Van Gogh Blade Tent 200. Good for <laughs> hiking, yeah. Now, Alice, this is your tent, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go and uh, open up the front of the tent and we'll have a little peek inside? And then we might um, go through popping the tent up from start to finish and showing people how it's put up. Alrighty, let's have a look. Ow. My leg's hurting from squatting. Alright. That. As you can see, it's the inside. There's the mat and sleeping bag. This is a bag, my bag, for hiking. And there's a few stuff in there, like towels and stuff like that. Alright, we've got but, uh, ventilation back there. We've got another one at the front, hook at the top. But I will be showing you with my brother's tent. Yeah. He won't be doing it because he doesn't want to do anything else. So as you can see, this is a two-person tent, and there is heaps and heaps and of room. And it's my very own tent. <sighs> yeah, it's heaps just of room. For me. If uh, you're a, a per it's about 220 uh, centimeters long inside, uh, from point to end to point, and um, look, two adults can fit in here uh, pretty comfortably. Uh, adult and child very comfortably, and one person, it's like a mansion. It's only about two kilos, so. It's like a big room. <laughs> now, let's go child. around it. Now, it's not a freestanding. Okay, that's a, probably, probably one of the only downsides, I think, to this one. Uh, it's, but it's good price. This has been used a couple of times, at least. Where will, where will we be putting Austin? I'll put it up next to it. And um, so it needs guy ropes. Uh, and also, there's look, there's an inner and outer. Like I said, there's uh, some, some ventilation. It's I would not recommend this tent for you know hot summer use but certainly the other three seasons yes so spring but, autumn um, and winter yeah i'm glad i'm not in summer because then i can go and hike and my birthday so summer tents here in in australia i think you need something with a lot more sort of mesh and ventilation and the ability to the biggest you can easily get, throw off the top the cover. biggest tent you can get is like a 10 person Tent. Well, I think you can probably get bigger ones than that, sweetheart. But... Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So oh, anyway, that's the blade. One simple pole. It's it's you know it's relatively sturdy. I mean, we, we've had it out in, in in wind and rain and all sorts, and no dramas, no leaks, no condensation. It's been pretty good. So let's um let's go ahead and set one up, eh? Yeah. Where did you? We'll pop it over there, I think. So that on the left in the little blue stuff sack, that's a third, uh, It's a 2010. Oh, yes, thank you, sweetheart. That's a, that's a Van Gogh blade. All right, so we got two of them. Uh, that's a 13 litre Cedar Summit stuff sack, which um, I bought for both of these tents because it just, you know, you're going you're gonna to basically save on uh, durability by throwing it in one of them, I think. The, uh, the original cover it comes with. Uh, on the trail, when you got pegs and poles in it, you know, it, it, it's gonna, it does wear. You start to get little rips and holes in that cover, so that's why I've got this the stuff sack, which I'd recommend to go with it. But let's have a squeeze. Hey, okay. all right, little miss, how about you open that up? Ah. You don't pull it, you just clip, unclip it. Oh, that's it. it. And. Uh, Take the tent it's out. going to be a bit high because I'm over, I have this at the same time. Well, I'll just put that on the ground. All right. But yeah, as you can see, we put in a, in a stuff sack for extra extra protection. Waterproof, waterproofing and um, pears and all the rest of it. Yeah. All right. So it comes with its own pegs, um, but I've I got uh, a few extra pegs, uh, more sort of lightweight, durable ones uh, to throw in with the originals. Just to, I like having at least four, four stronger, sturdier, higher quality ones that come with the standard. Yeah, a lot of the times when you get tents that aren't mega expensive, it's because uh, some of the materials, like the peg materials and things, are not as uh, not as durable, not as strong. Um, right, so yep. So that's the uh, poles and a few pegs. Yeah. Ow. With the pegs, yep. So that's the that's the bag that comes in. Yeah, you can just throw that. Yeah. So yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the way that goes. <laughs> Alright, so do you want to take the uh, the pole out and the pegs out for me? Firstly, pegs. Here, place over there. In the sunlight. <laughs> pegs. The red ones go for the corners. Yeah, don't worry about that, just lay it out. Yeah. Pole. A big ginormous pole. That yep. That keeps the tent up. That's it, just pop that on the ground. Lovely. And now how about we um we get the tent out of the bag? Is this our bag? Well, you know, unroll it, put it put it down where you want to put it down. Wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. There it comes. Now, I've already attached the uh, outer fly to the inner tent. Um, it's just, it's just easy. I think it's easier to put up that way, um, especially if it's a bit of wind and stuff. So, move this over a bit. Yeah, can move that over a bit. That's fine. Because now, we don't want it to turn right. All right. So, there it is. So, what are we going to do first? We'll just do loosely pegs. peg the four corners. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Just very, very rough. Pretty loosely. Um, yep. I will do that. So that's it, pretty simply pegged out. And as I said, the uh, the top fly already attached to, to the underside. And look, it is it is very straightforward to attach that. You gotta angle the pegs. Yeah, you gotta angle the pegs. Alright. It can so, be a bit hard sometimes. You can there get you rocks go. and do it. Pretty simple. Peg the four corners. Doesn't take long. Sadly, Once they're pegs, you can. Uh, there wasn't four the red pegs. There's four red pegs for mine, but two for me. All right. So next, the single pole, the uh, blade, so to speak. Let's do it. Firstly, so, the pole. It's ginormous. Okay. I think Would you I like to uh, thread that through? You remember how? Yeah. All right. So of. basically. Thread that through the sleeve that's provided through the middle of the inner. Um, if it gets if stuck, pull it up more. Yeah, you go the other end, yeah? So if you find it gets stuck... Now go the other end, Alice, if it's getting caught. No, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah, you just have to pull it up. It's a bit heavy. Alright, well if it's starting to get some resistance, come the other end and pull it, pull it through from there. It's as simple as that. Like, like it pushing it there, there it is, see? That was easier than the last it time. It was, wasn't it? Because yeah. the more you do something, the easier it becomes. Now, oh, now you can see here, just step back a bit, sweetheart. See oh. here, there's this, uh, that's where I've clipped, get a bit of light, that's where I've clipped uh, the outer and the inner together. So you can unclip that for now and you can see this little eyelet and that's where you want to place the end of the pole like that that's the one and you just leave it like that yeah yeah all right then what do we do do you remember do it at the other end now this is the part where it gets more tricky well it can get more tricky for smaller hands can't it <laughs> but uh let's go See if you can get that uh, that blade up. Remember, get nice and close. Remember, you lift it up. Come no. come here and lift it as you push, though. Remember? Oh, yeah. That's it. Lift, lift, lift. Don't have to push anymore. Oh, hang on. Now, you see how it's come out of the eyelet back here? So it can get a bit tricky. So. Really? Tricky. Not too, no, it's not too bad. Sometimes so we pop, pop it back, straighting. we've got to make sure it stays in that eyelet, and that's where you push. Okay, and then... <laughs> Probably need a bit of help. Would you like, that's okay, would you like to hold that, and I'll show. Okay, it's just, it's more of a technique than a strength thing. Okay, so if I come here, I lift it up in the middle, as I push that. Yeah, lift up and push this through. And then, as you can see here, you see that, sweetheart? The other eyelet? Yeah. Push that pole in. 
pop it down and we're almost good. So we come back here. Now come here. Now as you can see, once again it's coming out of this eyelet back Set. here. That's easy. Oh. I just lift it up. You got that? Yeah? Lift it up, pop it back in that eyelet. And then I can take this clip and re-clip it. That's annoying. <laughs> Only yeah. if you're not used to it. That is so annoying. Alrighty. And that is basically it's basically the tent. So like with any tent, once that's done, you, you can re you can re-peg it if need be. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just show you quickly. Hello helicopter. Is that what it is? Yeah. There's little loops here, you can pop around. Yeah. Hang on, Dale, we'll pop oh, we'll do the loops first. Yeah. Little loops on the outer that pop over the pegs. Just help separate the outer tent from the inner tent and that way you don't get any condensation. I did that one. Family going to say condensation. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, here. We clip those together as well. Yeah? Would you like to do that? Yeah. Yeah? I don't want to get, I don't want it. There we I go. didn't want to get my finger caught. Okay, and now you have to do the other thing. Let's let's uh, then we do the guy ropes, and the guy ropes are pretty good. You can see them at night with your with your head torch and and whatnot. They're they're very reflective. So very let's uh, let's get on to them. Hang on. So guy ropes are out. And we've used a total, now I've gone a bit sort of, maybe a bit overboard with the pegs, you might not need to do it if you're really stressed about carrying pegs. Um, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pegs I've used here. Yeah, twelve pegs. But, yes. really, um, you could probably get away with eight, I reckon, in a pinch. Because um, I've put there... There. That's basically the tent done. There. You just need to do the mats now. That's right. And there. And you can probably get away with not having them. I'm just, you know, I, I just, I just like being a bit OCD with tents and making sure it's all, you know, use everything I can to secure. Yeah, that's right. Um, all right, sweetheart. So would you like Daddy. to do the honours and open the tent up? So that's the way. The balcro there, yep. Like I said, we've we've used this in, in rain and wind. And it's held up well, hasn't it, sweetie? Yeah, it didn't fall once. <laughs> well you'd hope not. Okay. That's, That's it. the inside. So here it is without like I saw the last one, but here you can see. You can put a mat on this side. Now the floor. Um it's a bit dusty. Oh, that's just because from the last time we went hiking, I didn't probably left a few little specks in there. But yeah. um, the floor, it's pretty damn durable. Um, I didn't use any ground sheets or anything like that uh, the last time we went. But this we is, just this had is the, the, the tent. Yeah. We right back here. Pull up the mattress. No, we won't do all that right now but uh there you go there's a little now like i said summer i would have to say no 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 because <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to zip that up because that's that's your little window right yeah, it's a window. that's pretty much it and you've got a little bit of ventilation back there if you look closer you can see our dog <laughs> um, just showing his yeah cause. of course the bad um, spot that's, he uh, that's uh that's the little window you got. So look, don't get me wrong, at night time, you're snug as a bug in a rug in here. Um, right now it's Autumn, hot. spring, winter, summer. Right now it's hot. You know, it's summer like in Australia, th this sort of tent is too hot, hands down. Um, but you It's know. even hot right now and it's like 25. Yeah, but hot, you know, hiking in summer in Australia, you know, really, um, man, I reckon you've got to be pretty, pretty, pretty keen. Look, I, I enjoy it, but... Uh, Anyway. Do you want to open that for me, sweetheart? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a dango blade, 200. We yeah, already we go. set up my tent. So. 
made More it. vegetable. He made a quick video of my pen, but then he accidentally deleted it. I did, it. didn't I? But there you go. There's the. And there's our dog. <laughs> there's, there's two blades. Mango no. blades. That's 200. Cool. They're great. Um, it's a grass of you. So, yeah. I don't know. That's we'll do. Uh, that I think Max the next one, we'll do. Uh, we'll have a look at the Van Gogh. Uh, Halo 300, which is a cool tip. Oh, dogs eat grass, yeah. <laughs> All right. Horses. Anyway, Alice. Yeah. Say bye. Goodbye. All right.